Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new and this is your first video, my name is Andrea. I film videos all about cruelty-free beauty products. And one of my favorite products to test would have to be face powders. I tried so many powders over the past few years. I do have a very oily skin, so I'm always looking for a good mattifying powder, one that doesn't look too cakey, one that locks everything into place. But because I've tried so many, I've really been able to narrow it down to like the best of the best. And even though I have oily skin, I have powders that will work for you no matter what skin type you have. Whether you're looking for a drugstore powder, a high-end powder, a loose setting powder, a pressed powder, I definitely have something that will work for you. So I hope this video is helpful. And please share a comment letting us know which powder is your favorite because I would love to hear from you guys. But let's jump into it and I'll chat about them. Okay, let me start with loose powders. So the first one I wanna mention is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This one retails for $9 and it is $1.06 per Per gram. I don't always take the price per gram into account when I'm considering makeup purchases, but I do when I'm considering powder because I personally go through powder fairly quickly. So I just thought I would include that information in today's video as well. Now this one comes in three different shades. They have a banana shade, a translucent shade, and then also a translucent deep shade. I have the translucent shade and I find that it really is a translucent powder, but it doesn't really leave a white cast on my skin. I think this one would be a great option for you no matter what skin type you have. Now, I don't have dry skin, so if you guys have dry skin, I would love to hear your perspective on any of these products in the comment section below. But the reason why I say that is because it's not an overly mattifying powder. It does set your foundation into place, but it's not a super powdery powder or an overly mattifying powder, which will make more sense when I talk about some of the other products. It almost blurs any fine lines or wrinkles or imperfections that I have on my skin and it works really well with every single foundation that I use it with. But I do find that I go through this fairly quickly if I'm using it pretty regularly, so that's just something to consider, but I definitely think it is a great option and it's worth picking up. The next one that I wanna mention is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. This one retails for $33 and it is 94 cents per gram. This is actually a pretty good price per gram. You get a pretty significant amount of product for the price. So this one comes in one shade and it is a translucent peach shade. This product is super mattifying. It's probably one of the most mattifying powders that I have to talk about in today's video. So I would recommend this if you have oily skin or very oily skin. If you have normal skin, you might be able to get away with it as well if you prefer more of a matte powder. But if you have dry skin and you don't typically prefer a super matte powder, I wouldn't really recommend grabbing this one. They actually market this as like a transfer resistant powder and I would definitely agree with that. I find that it locks my foundation into place so well no matter what foundation I'm using. I can even use this with more of a dewy foundation and it will instantly mattify my foundation and keep it matte throughout the day. And even though it mattifies my skin so well, I don't find that it's really heavy or cakey on the skin. As for cons, because it is a translucent peach shade, if you have a very yellow undertone or you're wearing a pretty yellow foundation, foundation, it almost has a tendency to make your skin look a little bit pink. The other con is that it does have a pretty strong scent, which might not be a con for you, but if you do not prefer scented products, I would just keep that in mind because it does have a peach scent. It's not super noticeable once it's on the skin, but you can, you know, smell it as you're applying it. The last loose setting powder I want to mention is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This one retails for $46 and it is $4.38 per gram. So that definitely puts it near the top of the list. It's one of the most expensive powders that I'm sharing in today's video. This does come in one shade and they actually offer a mini version as well. So the mini version might be worth grabbing, but that one actually breaks down to be $9.09 .09 per gram, which is really, really expensive for a powder. It's very lightweight, very natural, and I think it's a great finishing powder. For me, because I have oily skin, I don't usually prefer using this as a setting powder because I don't find that it's super mattifying, but I know people who have dry skin sometimes prefer prefer more of a lightweight powder that doesn't necessarily mattify their skin all day or lock their foundation into place all day. They just like more of a light coating so the rest of the products blend out really beautifully. And this is going to be a great option if that is the case for you. It very softly blurs the skin and it just looks really gorgeous in person and in photos. As for the cons, my makeup does tend to move when I wear this powder, like I said. Because I have oily skin, I need more of a mattifying powder or a little bit of a heavier powder. So if I just use this to 
set my foundation. It's going to move. It's going to melt off throughout the day. I more so prefer it as a finishing powder. So I'll wear another powder underneath this and then take like a light dusting and dust it everywhere. And I think that looks really beautiful, but it is an extra step in my routine. So for the price, it's not necessarily an absolute necessity. Now, if you have dry skin, that might not be the case. It is a beautiful powder and I do think it's worth the high price tag if you prefer a very lightweight natural powder that just makes your skin look flawless. Okay, let's move on to pressed powders. So I have five different powders to share with you. I'm just going to start with the most affordable and then I'll end with the most expensive. So the first one I want to mention is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This one is brand new. I actually have it in like my backup drawer because I'm currently trying to use up other powders before I use this one, but it is one of my favorites. It retails for $3.99 and it breaks down to be 50 cents per gram. So it is the most affordable powder that I have to share with you guys in today's video. So this one does come in one shade. I think that this one is most ideal if you have oily skin because it is a pretty mattifying powder. It's very, very inexpensive. I mean, it's like under $4, so that is definitely a pro. I find myself repurchasing this one mostly during the summertime when my skin is super oily because I just find that it really locks everything into place and mattifies my skin well. It's very lightweight, very comfortable, and easy to wear. As for the cons, it is a very powdery powder. So you know, when you dip your brush in and when you apply it to the skin, it kicks up a lot of powder and it looks very powdery on the skin. If you have oily skin, that tends to go away after like an hour or two, but like the first few hours that you're wearing it, it does look pretty powdery on the skin. Another con is that they only have one shade and a lot of powders only come in one shade, but this one does tend to leave a white cast on the skin. So if you have a darker skin tone, I really wouldn't recommend grabbing this one because I think, you know, on my skin tone, it can tend to look a little bit white, so I assume if you have a darker skin tone, it's going to be even more obvious. The next one I wanna mention is the Catrice Prime and Fine Waterproof Mattifying Powder. This one retails for $7.49 and it is 82 cents per gram. So again, super affordable. This one also comes in one shade. So I think that this one is going to be great for all skin types. I think you could benefit from this product if you have very oily skin, if you have normal skin, or if you have dry skin. It is a very lightweight powder, so I find that it just works well. It's very comfortable. It's great for day-to-day -day wear, especially if you don't want something too heavy, too mattifying, too cakey. This one's not overly powdery and it looks really beautiful, really natural on the skin. So I don't find that this one even looks like you're wearing powder, even though it still locks your foundation into place and it wears really well throughout the day. As for cons, it's pressed pretty firmly into the pan, which could be a benefit, but it could also be a con. It's a benefit because again, it's not overly powdery, but I also find that you have to dig your brush into it pretty hard to pick up a lot of product. But to be honest with you, that's pretty much my only con. I find that this is a really, really good high quality powder for a really affordable price. So if you're just looking for a lightweight natural powder that looks great for like everyday wear, no matter what skin type you have, I do think this would be a great option. The next thing I wanna mention is something that you can find at the drugstore as well. This one is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. It retails for $10.99 and it's 89 cents per gram and there are 10 different shades available. In general, the powders that I've mentioned are pretty lightweight, pretty translucent, so even though they set your foundation into place, they don't really provide any extra coverage. That's not the case with this one. This one actually does provide a good amount of coverage, so if you prefer more of a full coverage look, this one is going to be a great option. You can use this powder on its own, and it actually does work pretty well to even out your skin tone and keep your skin looking matte, but you can also use it on top of foundation if you just want even more coverage and you really wanna lock everything into place all day long. Because it is more of a full coverage powder, you can really get a heavy powdery look if you apply too much. So I wouldn't really recommend this one for dry skin because I do feel like it has a tendency to enhance dryness. And because it is a little bit of a heavier powder, it can have a tendency to look a little bit cakey throughout the day. Let's talk about the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. This is definitely one of my favorites, but it's kind of like a love-hate relationship. This one retails for $34 and it is $4.53 per gram. So it's definitely one of the more expensive powders that I'm sharing with you in today's video. It only comes in 
one shade and they market this as like a translucent powder but it's definitely not translucent. I will get to that in a second when I talk about the cons. I would say that this is probably best if you have oily skin but if you have dry skin you could still benefit from this powder. I just don't think it's probably going to be a powder that you're going to need because I find this mattifies my skin so well all day long. It literally locks your foundation into place better than any other powder that I've tried. And the thing about this one is that it, again, it doesn't look like you're wearing powder. Like it's not a powdery powder. It's very lightweight, very comfortable on the skin, but it really keeps my skin so matte. I am a big fan of this product. Now it definitely has its cons. So like I said, there is only one shade and they market it as a translucent shade, but I definitely don't think it's translucent. If you have a fair to light skin tone, I think it's going to be too dark for you. The only time this actually works for me is in like the middle to the end of the summer. And that's if I actually have a tan. Like last summer I did get a tan because I was outside a lot, but I'm not always outside during a lot of the summer. So I don't know that it will work for me this coming summer. It just kind of depends, which is unfortunate because it is such a good powder if you have oily skin. I think the quality is amazing. The other con is that you get a small amount of product. I actually used one up last summer and then this was the one that I had repurchased and I'm pretty close to hitting pan on it even though I haven't used it in months because I do go through it fairly quickly when I'm using it regularly. Anyways, all of that to say, it is one of my favorite powders but it's such like a picky powder it doesn't really work for everyone it's not going to be ideal under all circumstances but if you can get this to work for you and you have very oily skin you're going to love it it's such a good product this one is such a good powder but it's such an expensive powder it is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish setting powder and it retails for 45 dollars and the thing about this one is you only get eight grams. So it's 563 per gram. That makes it the most expensive powder that I'm going to talk about in today's video. This one comes in three shades. It comes in fair, medium, and dark, and I have the shade of fair. So I definitely think they could expand this shade range. Some, again, some products only come in one shade, but if it's like a truly translucent powder, it makes sense. This one does have some pigment to it. So I would love to see some lighter shades and some darker shades as well. So this is a product that I really truly think is good for all skin types. Whether you have normal skin, dry skin, or oily skin, I think you will love this. This is one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products. And even though it is so expensive, I am willing to spend the money on it because it makes my skin truly look flawless. This has a little bit of coverage to it. It's more of a lightweight coverage as compared to the Milani powder, which is pretty, well, it's like more of a medium to full coverage powder, but this one's more light coverage. It naturally blurs any fine lines, any wrinkles. It doesn't settle into the skin. It wears really well throughout the day. It doesn't look heavy or cakey or powdery. It just looks so beautiful, so airbrushed, so flawless. I still would love for them to expand the shade range though. So that is definitely a con. Also, it's very expensive, like I said, and I go through this powder fairly quickly. Like I haven't hit pan on this one yet, but I use it so sparingly because it is so expensive, which is kind of dumb. I mean, if I like it so much, then I don't have an issue using it, but the price tag is just so high. I don't think you could go wrong with any of these. I just think there are certain powders that work best for certain skin types and preferences. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please share your favorites in the comment section down below, and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.